Good morning, ladies and gents. My name is Termination, and welcome back to Hitman. Today, we're going to be doing a little bit of an elusive target because that it just came out, and I am excited, and I want to get that smack that goatee right off his face. I also like how the, all the elusive targets have seemed to have uh, a pattern of being called whatever they happen to be like by labels and such. I feel like sometime soon we're gonna have like an elusive target who's like the Cheerio connoisseur. But anyway, we're gonna jump right in. We're gonna head on in. So we're gonna look at this briefing real quick. Boom. Good afternoon, 47. Your target is Kieran Hudson, a controversial tabloid journalist. The client is a former victim of the Target smear articles and wants the journalist eliminated in retaliation for a particularly destructive series of rumors. The ICA has discovered that the Target is in Paris on the trail of fashion designer Sebastian Sato. He will most certainly attempt to get close to Sato, either to interview or take photographs of him. With the world's attention on the show and extensive security in place, it will not be easy to locate and eliminate the Target. The clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. All right, so that scene, it actually it doesn't seem that hard. I have to, I don't have to do it in any special way, but I think I'm still gonna be heading in with the, uh, at the original starting location because uh, I know where I can get a hairdresser's, per, hairdresser's costume. I could get that immediately. So I wanna put something in there. I wanna, I don't know, what, what would I put in there? All right, people, I'm going in with a modern pneumatic syringe so that I can put him to throwing up and stuff. Good, I know how to do elusive targets. Although if any of you have forgotten what an elusive target is, I have one shot to kill this dude and I only have a limited amount of time as you probably saw before, but we're gonna do this and we're gonna do it right. Probably not because this game always has a habit of just breaking my hopes and dreams. Good afternoon, 47. Your target is not on the guest list, so he will most likely be attempting to slip past security in some way. If he is located within a secure area, guards will escort him out. Good hunting. All right, so this guy is actually trying to sneak in the same the same kind of thing I am, so I'm gonna have to find and wait for him, but first I'm gonna just circle around here, just gotta pick this up. And I, there's a guy that should be coming around this corner, and I'm gonna pick it, pick this fire stairs up. I didn't even, I didn't even know this guy was here. That this guy walked past, past this. Um, until I did a, uh, oh, howdy. Nothing happened, sir. Shut up. So now with this disguise, I should be able to get in. I could have just put myself in there, but I also... Actually, I'm not sure why I did that. Probably would have been easier if I just... Went in, like, the normal way. So I'm looking with the guy with the weird goatee and a funny hat. Wait a minute. Chopstick's hair just went off in a different direction. I didn't think he... I don't think he's supposed to do that. Where'd he go? I don't think he. I don't think he walks anywhere. Where did he go? Oh, okay. Never mind. He probably walks a lot during the beginning, so may, uh, to interact with Mr. Novikov. Anyway, tail, tail, Mr. Chopstick's hair. I can get the get the other guy. That should be easy. What's his name again? His name is Kieran. Mr. Hudson. Mr. Hudson. I'm looking out for you. Uh, really, um... What? Say, uh, non-threatening commercial? What? Yeah, Whatever. Yeah. I'm dead inside. Oh, I can take it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't... What? I'm not dead inside. Good for you, man. Good outlook on life. You have a good day. It's fine. Let's get ready for my walk of shame. Unless you like to kill me first. Seriously. Oh, I can handle that, but I'm trying to gun for silent assassin here, and killing you would just complicate things, sir. I could do that for you. Contact me at this number, 1 800 to kill me now. Somebody bring me a horse. It's your show, Sebastian. This guy is one cheerful piece of garbage. I'm glad I get to experience this. I feel like a bodyguard to this guy, just checking around and making sure there's nothing suspicious around the area. Don't worry. I'll take care of anyone you want, sir. Don't you just love looking good? Yep, that's me. Loving looking good. That's why I got these scissors. See this bald head? I cut this bald head with my own scissors here. I just gotta look for anybody on the mini-map. I'm kinda looking at the mini-map right now. 
to check for uh, any suspicious activity and the dots. If I was gonna sneak in here, what route would I take? I'd probably come in from the basement. I think if I was headed this way, had to sneak all the way, I would go through the basement. But I've actually been up there for a long time, so he should... He should be close. He should be close to getting there. If he hasn't been there already and I missed him. And he doesn't have any bodyguards, which makes this new this thing interesting, so... He'd have to be in a very populated area. I wonder if he's walked by me already and I just haven't noticed him. Huh. You get that spot clean, sir. Is that... That's him. I just walked by him on accident. Oh, was he not on the guest the guest guest list? I see. He's he's allowed in here, but he's a lot of trucks. What have you got them? Is that how you smuggled them in? What is that guy? He actually he's kind of. He looks like he's kind of. Is he? Is he broken? I feel like he might be broken because that was a weird. He's talking like he was talking to somebody. What are you talking about, guy? Maybe he is talking to me. I don't know. He's kind of standing like, like a player would stand, standing at the door for no reason. I want to get this as silent assassinly as I can because I I still haven't done an elusive. I've done a lot of elusive targets. I have, but uh, a silent assassin one I have not yet done. You you you're gonna dance or you gonna stand there? We could dance, we could dance all around and have a good time, but no, you're just gonna sit there and take pictures. What are you taking a picture of? You doing Snapchat over there? Get over there, just, just, just a red screen, that's all there is. You're a bad photojournalist. For that, you're gonna pay! I really hope he starts sneaking around because that'll be my chance. Because if he's sneaking around, it means he's trying not to be seen. If he's trying not to be seen, he'll be staying away from areas that are not where he's supposed to be seen. Where he can sneak by. Ever so easily. You have an eyeliner I could borrow? He keeps great focus now. Yep. I, I use the blood of my enemies for eyeliner, sir. So j just give me one, a couple minutes, and I'll be back with you with that. You're in a bad place. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think I'd kill like 70 other people trying to do that. Okay, it looks like he's going through his rounds again. Unless he changes it up later. He's gonna be like, uh, I want in. Where's Sato then? Where's he hiding? Sato, come on out here, you bloody great card. Oh. Private area. Now get out of here. He's a British man. You know, man, I could take care of him for you. If you want, just, just, if you could just turn around for one second. Just turn around, man. I could take care of him for you. I didn't see that. Ah. Uh, I didn't, didn't hear that. Darn it, I was... I've got to keep this coin out in case I get an up, another opportunity like that because I think that's the only chance I've got of completely destroying this guy. Wait. Oh, darn it. The guard, the guard came in. Wait, where'd he go? He vanished. Oh, there he is. Okay. Oh, man. That was almost a disaster. I lost him for a second. He, like, disappeared in the one second that I, that I turned around. Jeez. Jeez Louise, man. You're causing more, you're more trouble than you're worth. This is the fun part where I just follow him everywhere he goes and he doesn't know anything that's going on. I'm the stander. I stand in this particular spot. You don't have to worry about a thing. And don't worry, I, lo I love the smell of smoke. If you could just bring that down here. Yeah, I just gotta like that smoke. Oh, don't mind me. I'm a professional athletic, professional athletic man. I crawls around anything. I don't have time to walk up the stairs. This music is bopping. I love it. I guess hopping would actually be the right term for that. Just ignore what I just ignore what I just said. This guy's like checking to make sure he's. So he does kind of have a bodyguard. So this guy is acting kind of like a bodyguard, except he's the guy who's like, "Hey, stop taking pictures, you fool!" Shut up. No one asked you. Yeah. Don't you just love looking good? 
I love looking good as I possibly can. There's no much gooder I can ever look. Hey, sir, how you doing? I wonder if this guy's actually gonna ruin everything for me. I feel like I'm gonna be able to kill this, uh, kill the target, and then he is gonna just be a huge problem and be like, oh, wait, this guy didn't walk out of that room. I should probably check to make sure he's in taking pictures of the toilet and all the dookies in the toilet. Okay, this guy just told him, hey, stop taking pictures. He walked five feet and started taking more pictures. Get my good side. No? Yeah, I, you're, are you saying I don't have a good side? How about screw you? I thought he was gonna be sneaking around. I'm kind of disappointed. Like the Christmas mission where uh, Marv and Harry were sneaking around being real sneaky and stuff and it was awesome. Now. Wow, he does not give a party pooper nothing. He doesn't give nothing. He don't care. Say what? All right, all right. Can I get him to sneak in now? No problem. Okay, I thought he would sneak in. I was wondering if I can manipulate him into sneaking in, but he didn't. Great, smart. Oh, I could have probably used that opportunity to stab him in the back with my uh, with my juices. That doesn't sound right. He's headed over to smoke on the uh, on the balcony or whatever. Let's see if I can't. Where is he now? Uh oh. Chopsticks hair is here. And he straight up ignored him and went over there. Why do they have this story involved if they're not gonna take advantage of it whatsoever? How about go over there? Wow, this guy is deaf as all heck. Okay. I think I have an idea, and it involves Mr. Fire Extinguisher. Will this work? Excuse me, uh, I think you dropped that. Yeah, don't care. Is anybody gonna notice if I take a little pot shot at him? He's gonna move! I did it! I did it! I did it, yeah! Yeah! No, I just need to exit. I need to exit the heck out of here. Nope, it wasn't dynamite. It was definitely a fire extinguisher. Don't even worry about a thing. Okay, everybody's... Yeah. And I am out of here. Just gotta make my exit out of here. Boop, but a boop I think I did that silent assassin, too. So that's not... That's not too bad. I think I did that. You can just... Oh, I didn't even open that door. It's a heavy door. Yeah. All right, so let's see. Mission accomplished. Yeah, I did it. Yeah, and I get, so I get, I get, oh yeah, I get more, un I get unlocks and stuff. Heck yeah. That's so that, yeah, that's the first time I've silent assassin an elusive target. So, ha, ah, take that, Mr. Kieran Hudson, Mr. Hudson, hat man. Goatee is still stupid, by the way. Actually, let's, let's check to see the leaderboards. I like to look at the leaderboards occasionally, especially for these. I'm number 912 in the world. Yeah, look at that. Woo, look at all those numbers. Oh, wow, there's actually a lot of people who finished this Silent Assassin. I'm actually really, 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 really impressed. But that said, they probably did the, <laughs> the they probably did the same really cheap method as I did with the uh, explodey thing. That's something I ha didn't know until just recently. But anyway, that's all for Hudson, Mr. Hudson. He is dead, he is dead for good, and we don't have to worry about him anymore. But that's also the end of this episode. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, feel free to leave a like down below or share it around however you see fit. And you guys have a fantastic day, and I'll see you all next time. Good night.